here in front of me. Yeah, look, everything's ready. I'm waiting for you. Yeah, fine, fine, yeah, that's okay. Gonna put it in the garage? But it's not like it's a bus, girl. As you wish, but go, no. I think, okay, well, it's already there. No, actually, I prefer to wait for you, but. Okay, okay, come on, look, I'm hanging up now. Yeah, yeah, it's open. Sounds fine with me, sure. Bloody hell. Oh, you fucking called me. <laughs> She's just going to do everything that gets into her head. In the end, we'll see. chance okay she's with us i'm joking but she's the only one who speaks french i speak french <laughs> virginia please come on have i seen you before <laughs> yeah of course you've seen her i have in the toilets what in the toilets with the bleach and the from the fucking cleaning woman. <laughs> no, I've got nothing against the fact that she cleans toilets, but oh no, Ellie. And listen, girl, when you're cleaning the floor, it doesn't matter where it is, in a toilet or a fucking train station, you can have a little sign. Okay, there are these little signs that say, warning, floor wet. <laughs> floor wet? <laughs> you know what it says floor wet or says shit, but there are these little signs you put up so people don't fall over. Yes or no? And even more so confusing fucking creep out those away and that is serious. Little signs. Yes, little signs. <laughs> little signs. <laughs> With you. Are you taking the piss? She's not taking the piss. She's just like that. <laughs> <laughs> like that how? She understands it. Yes. Come on. Look. Pick it up from here. I was about to grab it right then and there. Do you remember, right? I mean, it was on the floor. I was just stood there laughing. But I didn't grab her. I didn't grab her. I didn't grab her because if I had grabbed her, they would have thrown me out. And what difference would it have made? Hmm? We were all out on the street a week later. I went by yesterday. The building's dead. It's like it's been dead for 20 years and it's My all in ruins. What I don't understand is, from now on, when a customer calls, I don't know, calls information or to change his tariff or whatever, what are they going to do? Answer in Colombian? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I mean, of course, if the operators are Colombian. If the company moved there, if they set up the exchange in Colombia, it'd be normal to recruit a Colombian operator, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, but the customers are... Well, they're Spanish. Yeah, so well, it's Colombian, though. It's not French. They don't understand that, really. Yeah, but, I don't know, it'll be obvious that they're Colombian. Well, so what's the problem? The fuck, it's a Spanish company, isn't it? Of course it's Spanish! Well, if they sack us and we're Spanish, and then the company goes off to Colombia, and all the people they hire from now on are from there, then is the company still Spanish? What? Well, I mean, if the company moves to another country, where do they pay their taxes? There or here? Well, <laughs> they stop I don't know. Here, then how can they now say that the company's Spanish? Or can they? Or what, what are you fucking laughing at? <laughs> Come on, I don't know. Look, 
cables, undo the knots and tidy them up a bit and then we can see what we've got. Companies aren't people. <laughs> Companies aren't people. No. Right, perfect. Yeah, thanks for your help. There are several girls. The youngest is 16 and the oldest is 29. Oh, hello now. Oh. Well, I know. It's one th thing to go and volunteer, you know, to help. To help? We were going to sell them phones. They need phones so that they could com communicate, right? Mm -hmm. That's one way to help. Yes, but we sell them Spanish phones with prepaid SIM cards and... Yeah, cards with balance on them. We don't charge them a lot, Elena. And we don't take advantage, we don't do that. They need Spanish phones, we provide them. Well, they also need to get to Germany. Yeah, to meet up with their own people, and uh, <coughs> they're rich. That's why they're going separately. They're not bringing babies or anything like that, right? <laughs> uh, no. No, of course not. Scrooge. Who? Who's Scrooge? Muslim women. <laughs> oh, they're them Scrooge girl. We're all Scrooge. You can't compare us to them, Elena. Stop complaining. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying we're all screwed. Whatever. You know, if any of them has at least two brain cells to rub together, as soon as I explain a couple of things, I'll rip off their headscarves. Yeah, well, I'll put it on myself. <laughs> Don't make jokes about that. Well, it's true. You're half Moorish. <laughs> yeah. I'm as much Moorish as you are Catholic. Well, I was Catholic. <laughs> was? to a nun's school. Oh, that'll be why you're not in Warner. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let Al hurry. Seventeen. Are they refugees or immigrants? What difference does it make? I mean, what difference does it make? Muslims. It's a big difference. Yeah. What is it? I'm an idiot. Because there's no point. They're not going to understand me. My mother is Czech, my father is Slovak, I came to Spain six months ago. My story is no different from any other, just like all the rest. But take Elena. Her father's from a communist country. They hid him on a bus and he got off in Switzerland. He found a job cleaning rooms. Then they sent him to Finland. There's plenty of that kind of work there. All the snow you can wish for on the rooftop. Well, there he met a woman. That's why Elena has a face like that. The living portrait of a mother. Well, I like that phrase. The living portrait. Elena's mother consists of four photos in a white country that she doesn't know. The words are Elena's. I like words and some phrases. Some more than others. You know, Women talk a lot, especially in bathrooms. But because they're talking in their own language, they don't take care of the words they're using. They just say them as if they were nothing. <laughs> as if they were nothing. The fact is, women talk too much, especially in bathrooms. Here you go, 
negotiate. What? We didn't negotiate. What are you talking about? Did you negotiate or did you just take the first figure that guy offered you? Well, so it was the first figure he offered you. Oh. Hey, a moment ago you were just talking about wanting to volunteer to help. their documents, false documents. <laughs> well, if the documents were badly made, they wouldn't have made it into Spain. Or do you think, how do you think they crossed the Mediterranean, eh? By telling everyone good afternoon. <laughs> they have to step onto Spanish soil first, and I tell you, they look at their documents pretty carefully there. I honestly don't know. Hey, what is wrong with you? So we don't do it, that's all. If it brings all this shit, it's over. We just sell the bones, which is what got you excited first place. Just abandon the girls there and I'll just see her and let the Moors take care of them. But they are Moors. Muslims. Oh! Sakina Shamut, 23 years old, philologist.
posted my first CV in their letterbox. Seriously. I put it in there through the slot. I had a couple of pounds of makeup on and with my tits two sizes bigger with the padding that my friend's sister had recommended, I called her on the phone and said, Hello, good afternoon, my name is Elena Neelan. Yes, they said. I was so nervous and pale. Yes, they said again. Uh, I, I've come to leave my CV. Ah, oh, yes, uh, leave it there in the letterbox. And there it was, right in front of my face. <laughs> Big sign, letterbox that says advertising. And I put it through the slot, and yeah, of course, what was I going to do? I spent all night long doing my CV, the first one of my life. What was I going to do? I was doing it and undoing it, putting things in and taking them out, hobbies and other interesting stuff. One moment you think it looks great. The next, rubbish. It's completely daft, you take stuff out, you change it, you think they're gonna think this or they'll think that, and then you put it back the way it was, it's bloody ridiculous. You change it back and before you know it, it's seven in the morning, and you've gotta wash your hair and do your makeup and put your fake tits on and your shoes. And my friend sister told me, make yourself look pretty, um, appearance is very important. They noticed that. Um, they had said receptionist needed. <laughs> All morning, like a pudding. My dad couldn't stop staring at my tits. Just good luck, he told me. <laughs> my first job interview, if you can call it that. And then the bus back and my stupid face. <laughs> Poor little thing I fell. That's what I said. Never again. So after that, I've done it all. I've sold booze, houses, cars, clothes, household gadgets, and even those flamingo handled toilet brushes. <coughs> yeah. So of course I've gone on updating my CV, but I've never taken more than five minutes over it. Been perfectly upfront. I knew the fuck's gonna put hobbies and interesting details. Nothing. No hobbies, no interesting details, no shoes, no makeup. This is who I am, and if it looks like I can be of use, okay. If not, bye bye. In the end, we're certainly not even gonna have time to get to know each other. Six months, the longest contract I've had. to get organised a bit. Steal them? What do you think? Stolen. Oh, nobody's going to miss all this. Although they did have it pretty well guarded. Well, they recycle them. They cut them up and recycle their components for new models, but they're still worth it. And the SIM cards are all new. Yeah, the SIM cards are new. Why do you 
say it's not much money. But never said it wasn't much. You're stupid. That's what you said. And what I don't understand is not much compared with what? Because compared to our wonderful wages, spending our time fucking up people's fiesta to sell them a call anywhere, fantastic savings plan. Are you shitting me that you couldn't even call that a wage? In the end, the overtime was paid in vouchers for dentists. That's not true. Weren't you? I never did overtime. Oh, then ask my mother, it was great for her. For dentists? Yeah, right. Right. Actually, I've got good memories of that job. I haven't. Well, of course, I didn't get the guy calling me every day telling me that his modem was spitting out milk. Poor Roberta. Why did he always get you? Well, you were selling like crazy. Mm. I mean, they were, <laughs> they were thrilled with you. Good afternoon. The reason for my call today is uh, to congratulate you for being chosen from among seven million customers to receive the gift that will change your life. Well, yeah, I really got into it. You always talked on automatic, but I didn't. I like to adapt to each customer. <laughs> Do you remember that lady who would call you to ask her to turn up the volume on her TV? And you'd say, oh, of course I will, madam. I'll do it right now. Then you take my apple, <laughs> chew on it quietly for six seconds, or 10 or 14 or 20, <laughs> and then say, try that, madam. Is it okay now? Oh, it's much better now. Thank you, miss. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, not at all, madam. Thank you for your call. Enjoy your soap. And then one day I got her and I explained, can't put the volume up on your TV. And she said, why not? Your colleague does it every day. <laughs> <laughs> you took it too seriously. Well, deep down I also think it was good to have that job. Of course it was. And not least because we got to know each other. Oh. <laughs> you and me. Apart from that, I mean, what I'm saying is it taught me a lot. I learned a lot about people, about myself actually, as well, about these times we're living through, about the need for everyone to talk, connect, communicate with someone, even if it's just a yell, even if it's just a shit on everything, like that, like that poor guy who just exploded and wouldn't stop insulting me, oh like he totally lost it, oh, I won't forget that, it was incredible. He was a son of a bitch. But what I don't understand is why didn't you want to bring charges against him? Well, because in the end it wasn't me. I don't think he was insulting me. No, he was an utter. And just because he had four phone lines, he thought he was a big I am. He thought he was a special customer, so he treated people like shit. Fucking nutter, that's what he was. And a TV woman as well. Another nutter. Let's see if we all aren't going to be nutters now. No. Actually, that lady knew perfectly well that you can't put the volume up on her TV, but she liked to call. To share, to tell someone her soap would be starting, so someone knows where she is and what she's doing. And, and that guy, well, it's obvious. I don't even want to imagine what kind of world you live in. To be someone who is paying for four phone lines, and when some tiny incident happens on one of them, he just explodes and dies. What I think is that these people aren't well. Not, be not because they're crazy, but because they just don't feel well. It's obvious that they don't feel well. And us, you and me, do we feel well? Um, honestly, I can't see myself spitting that I'm going to stab someone with a steak. And that, I'm going to shove an antenna up them if they don't reset my 4G service right away. And why do you say that you don't need it much? What? It's a lot of money, Bear. More than we've earned in six months. Have you asked yourself why you think it's not enough? What do you need so much money for? What do you mean? Look, Bear, if we're going to be partners, we've got to start be by being sincere. And aren't I being sincere? No, you're not. You talk about helping people, going to collaborate and all that. I don't understand you. I just want to know what side you're on. What do you mean?
asking me what side I'm on. You're going to do this for the money, yes or no? Don't accept it and leave it at that, but don't give me this story that... Well, it's all the same to me, but what I'm saying is you shouldn't kid yourself. If you're going to risk your ass, it's not because you want... It's because you want to earn some money, a lot of money, quickly. Risk my ass. If I remember a few minutes ago, you were saying there was no risk. Right, that you'd crossed the border a thousand times, but you've never, ever been stopped. But there's always a risk, Virginia. Please believe me, there's always a risk. I don't understand you. The truth is, I don't know what you're saying yet. Will you tell me, huh? Tell you what? Why are you worried they're paying us so little? We both knew perfectly well that that's a lot. That what we're going to be paid for, what we're going to be paid for doing is a lot of money, more than we could ever imagine having. It's just that I don't understand what you want me to tell you. It's very simple. You can tell me what you need so much money for. What kind of question is that? What are you trying to say? That um, I'm never satisfied? That I'm ambitious? That I always want more? Yes, you're ambitious. You'd never conform and you are trapped in all that shit like everyone else. That's what I'm waiting for you to tell me. And I want to hear you, yourself, saying it. Do you even know why they're five saw them when, why they went off and found cheaper contracts in other countries? Because they need to make more money. That's why. Because it's never enough. Because they always need more, 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 more. Always more. If they can earn more, then there's the slightest possibility squeezing out a little bit more by whatever sneaky means, then <laughs> how am I going to settle for any less, right? That'd be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? More, 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 always more. And you think exactly the same thing. All I want is for you to realise this, to come to understand it, and it's because we think this way that we've got the world we've got. What world? This one, where there's always better, where it's always better having two houses than one. 20 pairs of shoes are better than 10. 14 bedrooms are better than 7. 100,000 euros is better than 70,000. Why did everyone become so convinced of all the stupidity? What do you mean stupidity? Can you hear yourself? If the company wants to earn 100,000 euros instead of 70,000, it lowers costs, sweetie. So they fire us all and empty the building and fly off to where the production and taxes are cheaper. That's what I mean when I ask which side, which side you're on. Look, Elena, you and I didn't meet yesterday. I've seen you working. You've spent six months by my side. And I've seen you call a 67-year-old widower and tell him, Good afternoon, sir. You're in luck today. I have here the best gift you've ever had in your life. It's ready for you. Yes, the best. Because from now on, you'll no longer feel like you're on your own. Because with this gift, your children can be closer to you. Okay, because no, I've seen you use every trick in the book. I've seen you deal with that old man and sell him a package by talking about his kids who are far away and how lonely he might feel, just so that you can earn a commission of 14 euros. So don't come talking to me about morals when you're not clear which side you're on. But it's not... No, all I mean is, don't expect me to answer something that you yourself don't know how to answer. That's all. But the question there was not about commission. About the fact that you didn't make, if you didn't make three saves and you're on the street, you know that perfectly well. Sweetie, I think I'm not the one being fooled. You sold more than anyone else. And not three orders a day. How many orders did you place? Twenty. Look, Elena, I think by now I've got to know you more than just a little bit. I do know that we're different. You believe the world that is made of shit, that everything's going to hell, that all of society is a disaster, and we, that the little people, can only wander about from here to there because we're all completely lost. All of us, the poor lady, the poor psychopath, and the pervert, we all feel bad because we've sold our souls to the devil, and because, in fact, all of us have been cheated, even though none of us want to admit it. That's the way it is, more or less, isn't it? More or less. And you say you've learned a lot on the job. Good. And what are you doing with all you've learned? You feel sorry for yourself. And that's, that's all you can do, because you're not the only one. Look, oh, it's the fashion. There are huge numbers of us who feel sorry for ourselves on ball because we don't like the rules of the game. And the more you learn, the less you like it, I think. Well, 
that is fine. You're within your rights. But what is it that you contribute? Uh, no, no, what do you do, really, to make things change? Nothing. You just throw the blame about. You blame all the rest of us for the evils in the world. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You blame all of us. You dream about other rules, about a world that could be different. But you know perfectly well that the only way that things could change is by working from within. Little by little, and by not pretending to blow it up all in the air. And you know that, and you have to know that, because nobody can be that daft. That coming along with all these accusations, these resentments, is just not collaborating. It's, it's just fucked. Oh, that's all very well, but you still haven't answered me. What do I want to earn so much money for? Well, I don't know what for. No, actually, that's a stupid question. For everything. To have an easier life. Oh, what do you want it for? I don't want it. Well, you know, we could have started there, because I don't know what the problem is. Give me your share and be done with it, and everyone's happy. Yeah. I'll give it to someone who really needs it. Well, there you have it. What? Well, last. I knew this was where it was going. What? Um, I'm in this verse. I'm really in this. I care about these people. These seven women and the, the 20,000 that come after them. I really care about them. Every one of them. I want to help and that's why I, that's why I do this. It's not the same to me whether you believe me or not, but I repeat it till I die. I'm not doing this for the money. I'm not an opportunist. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, so I'm the ambitious one and also the opportunist. Where all this is going, isn't it? That's what you've been trying to say. <laughs> Listen, girl, if you laugh one more time, I will smash your face. Look, Bert. <laughs> the only thing I'd like for you to do is to open your mind a bit. Look at yourself and look around and tell me what it is we need, what we really need. What is the sense of all this and for what? It's not. It's not that I want to get all exis existential, but we're responsible, we really are. Responsible for what? For everything! For the fact that there are heaps of people, millions of people, who are having a really bad time. But really bad, you understand? Really bad. And we're responsible, we really are. And all because of this obsession to accumulate and accumulate, regardless of anything else. And all for what? Hasn't it occurred to you to think that there are other things that can fill your life? Apart from what's around you, apart from all the stuff that you can see and touch. Higher causes. You talk about an easy life, living as you wish, but what do you really need to feel safe and at peace with yourself? Why don't you think about that? It's not that I need anything. I'm obviously not dying. And obviously, with unemployment benefit, I've got enough for rent. And for now, I live well. This is my home, isn't it? And okay, it's not very big, but I'm not gonna complain. But that doesn't mean that I couldn't always do with more. Yeah, more space, more money. Now get this into your head. The more, the better. And I'm sorry, I know it doesn't sound nice, but that, ha that is how it is in the real world. Because here, money provides security. Security is important. Not just everyone knows it, you know, even the bugs know it. Security? Yes. Yes, security, to have peace of mind. To live the way you want, the more the better. Oh, the more money you have, the more secure you are. The more money you have, the more secure you are. The more money you have, the more secure you are. Are you asking me that as if I'm stupid? Yes. <laughs> the more money you have, the more secure you are. The more secure you are, the better. So that you can pay lawyers. Hmm, for example, if one day your friend gets herself in a mess when skiing. Do you understand me? The more money you have, the better the lawyers. In other words, the better justice for you. The more money you have, the better the doctors. In other words, the better health care for you and to take your mother to the dentist or whatever. Security. That's called security. I don't know what some of you are asleep in, but it seems to me that what I'm trying to get into your head is something that everybody else knows. And what has that got to do with anything? What's it? Of course it has 
everything's to do with everything. Stop maybe you're distracting me and you're getting more profit. <laughs> It's obvious. It's extremely obvious that everything I'm telling you, if I'm going to do a job, I want to be paid as much as possible. Mm. But don't you see, look, the maximum they can pay me, regardless of what the job consists of, the maximum always, and not a penny less. Am I an opportunist? I am not an asshole. I'm telling you. Maybe I'm not as good a person as you. If that's what you need to hear. I don't need to hear anything. Shh. You do. Talking bullshit. Think I'm talking bullshit, fine. Will you get a hold of yourself? Because here comes the best part. Are you listening? Then look at me when I'm talking to you. I'm being completely sincere with you. And regardless where all of this takes me, I don't give a shit about whether or not you're a better or worse person than me. I don't know what I am. Oh, That's the truth. I don't care at all to admit it. I don't have the least fucking idea. I have no idea who I am. <laughs> Maybe you do, but I don't. Yeah? That's it. So what I do know, and this truly matters to me, I do know something about what I'm not. I need security. You know, people I don't hear about. What do I want the money for? Okay. Well, I want it to get me out of this shit. Because I have goals. Yeah, I've got goals in my life, real goals. And all I can do to achieve them is, you know, I'm going to start my own business. Yeah, someday. And okay, you can laugh. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to outsource my workers to Kazakhstan if I have to, and, and pay my taxes in Timbuktu, mm. because those are the rules of the game. And I have to play the game. Whether I like the rules or not is another matter, but I assure you that I'm not going to beat anyone else about whether I like or not like the rules. So you don't like them? No, no nobody likes the rules, stupid. Of course I don't like the system. At least, but I am grateful for this shitty system, for everything that it's given me and the life that I have got inside it, because it seems to me that I am lucky not to have been born in Kazakhstan or Timbuktu or and about that Colombian or South African or company or whatever you want to call it. It doesn't matter shit to me what they call it. With my huge profits, I can already see myself becoming a huge, great philanthropist and I'll go crazy making donations until I leave my very soul to them. Yeah, you know what, I'll make donations. I'll make them, I tell you. And do you know why I'll make them? For the same reasons you do. Because I want to feel better about myself. But that time it will be me who will donate huge sums of money to the world's poor so that they can, oh, cease to be poor and so that they can become people. Just like us, you know, ambitious, opportunistic, fighting to become rich, and someday they'll become crazy philanthropists too. And that's how the misery of the world will end. Yeah, get it into your head. How wonderful. And so you will change the system. Sorry, the rules of the game. <coughs> because of course. 
course in a world where there are no poor. You'll tell me how one can become rich. Yeah, that's right. What a marvellous plan. I know you don't like the way I think. Oh, it's because you're into that fashion of disgust and sarcasm and oh, how bad are we in the first world? You'd like to lobotomize us all, all of us who don't think and like <laughs> the way that you do. It's not, <laughs> not that I don't like it, it's that I can't stand it. I cannot stand it. That cynicism, that wanting to be with one foot on each bank. We don't take advantage of them, girl. We only offer them what they need. That's what I can't stand. Then boil your head, sweetie. Oh. If you're so resentful, if you hate us all so much, then jump onto the other side. Oh, onto the other bank, as you call it. Look, here's your opportunity. Why don't you dress up as a ninja, wrap yourself in dynamite, and blow oh. yourself up? And, and if you take a couple of us with you, the more the better. Don't you think that's a... That's no, not quite... No, of course, of course, sorry. I know, I know this is what you're doing with it, okay? It's because you like flirting. It's the flirting that gets you. Flirting? Yeah, you're just flirting. You are having wet dreams. Oh. Starting your private battle against the evil system and the bad people who control the world. So stop fantasizing and make decisions for once. You already know what you have to do. Take advantage of this chance, go on. Now is a great time. I know, I'm perfectly aware of oh, that. Although, here we all are, we're very bitchy, very selfish, very self-absorbed. Oh, kaboom, but everything's fixed. Of course it is. Come on, just calm down. No, no, you stop bossing me about. I don't know who the fuck you think you are, you crazy, crazy bitch. But don't boss me about, you are so despotic, so manipulative. You complain about what you are, what you are carrying around with you inside. And that's what you can't stand. going too far. Well, no, why not? Why not ask your friend, huh? What she'd do with the money? <laughs> of course, she would have higher motives, right? A noble cause. <laughs> a little brother, maybe, I don't know, where in, in Romania? Who needs a blame chaps farms? And, oh, you can go and find out her story, too. Come on, brain box. Talking to you. <laughs> what are you looking at, you bilingual polygot? What are you doing? <laughs> why are you doing this? <laughs> why are you coming on this adventure? <laughs> Wouldn't be for the money, would it? So... <laughs> Go on, um, let's see if your friend gets pissed off. Girl, I know you understand me perfectly well. Tell me about your drama. Come on, touch us all. I'm dying to hear it. Car. Car? What car? Big car. What the fuck? <laughs> what do you want a big car for? To be like you. House. Car. TV. Yeah. Like me, and the telly, a big one too. <laughs> big is best. <laughs> okay, so the bigger the better. <laughs> hey, Elena, you didn't expect that, huh? Maybe you're right. About what? Um, about almost everything you've said. Look, Elena, let's do something. Why don't we move on from all of this? Let's, let's leave things as they are. Maybe what's happening is just because we're both a little nervous. Maybe this is too big for us. But I want to, but I want to do it. it. Elena, call the guy and say that we won't do it. Well, how am I gonna tell him that? Tell him the truth. And what is the truth? That we're not going to do it because we're both fucking scared. I want to do it. I I do want to do it, and I'm not scared. I swear by my mother, I'm not scared at all. Well, then you know that's worse for me because if you're really not scared, then I'm more scared. But it, I don't call him. Tell him that we're aborting. That we're aborting. Yeah. yeah. Tell but tell him what you like. But this is as far as we go. And, and you just leave leave it. I don't think it's right. <sighs> Maybe it is you who's right, Elena. What you want me to tell you? There you have it. Maybe we are fine. I mean, you know, just fine as we are. It is true. I mean, look around us. Look around you. What problems do we have? I mean, 
really, what do we need? Let's not risk our asses, either for money, for anyone, or for anything. You know why? Because, because we'd have too much to lose. That's it, and I've seen it really clearly, so we're not going to do anything. I've got nothing to lose. Don't fuck about, Elena, please. I've got little I've got among the things I truly value and the things that are truly mine. These things can't oh, just fuck be... Fuck off with the same stories, Elena. Holy God. Oh, your integrity, your kind ideas, your pretty soul, your nobility, everything else about you that you value so much that is so truly yours. It breaks up into 20,000 pieces as soon as you have to share showers with hundreds of soulless psychopaths. God, you donkey! But are you listening to me? What I actually want is to help these people. Aula, Aula, Aula Al-Haris, 17. Oh, we're going to see that lady. Huh? Sakina Shamut, 23 years old. Shh, the lot of this! Shamut? Elena? Sakina Shamut. Ashka Hamp. Student. Lena, Lena Mohammadi, teacher, 24 years old. Fatima Arab, student. Stop Parisa. Lena, Parisa. Parisa. Parisa Nabilzi, 32 years old, anthropologist. 29 years old. Sharla Jahid. Sharla. women we'd really like to be, we would already be there, helping these people. Not here negotiating, measuring risks and seeing how much we can earn or lose. Giving them stuff because this is the gift that can change lives. It's in our hands. If we were really aware of what was happening, if we, we wouldn't be doing this, all this assessment of risks, costs and benefits. We would be helping these people without thinking anything else, without thinking about ourselves. We'd be making a little bit of a change. It's, it's a chance to forget about ourselves, Bella. This is our chance. And but it's not like that. And this isn't the way. When you save a life, you don't just save one life. Do you understand? Some of some of these women have children somewhere else. It's the future that you're saving. Just call. I'm not going anywhere, and you're not going to make me. Every descendant of these women, Germans, Finns, whatever you want to call them, depending on when they're born, what does it matter? They will have the opportunity to live out their own history. Don't you see? It was all thanks to us, people who wanted to accompany their mothers, their fathers, their grandmothers, feed and communicate with them on a stretch of road when they were alone, when they needed a hand. Those people would be the descendants of our solidarity. Call the guy and say we won't do it. But look, when you help save a life, whoever it is, it's, it's not that particular life. It's the life in general. The road that leads the lives that depend on it. You're saving, you're, you're saving the future, and it's an opportunity that we have, and it's got consequences. And you never call right now, but or it, I'll call. You can imagine, it's like being God. It's like the threats of these people's histories. I mean, look at them. They're in our hands.
I understood perfectly. Virginia, I don't know. It's over. No one's, no one's going anywhere. Children, don't you remember? When, when, when I saw that many, I mean, the other time, I, I thought, damn, we should have bought balloons. Children like balloons. And what, what I'm saying is, children, they feel their mother's fear. Why didn't you tell me? And for a frightened child, any silly thing, any silly thing that makes them happy, even if it's a balloon, makes them forget. They don't need anything else. I mean, a red balloon or a green balloon, colourful balloons. They don't break it down and you can carry a lot of them. They know. Why didn't you tell me? What? What were you thinking? When did you see the children? But I'm telling you now, Virginia, the balloons, we have to take the balloons for the children. Okay. Okay, Lena. We better stop all of this for now. or I'll call. For who? Are you trying to scare me? What? <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. What is happening, Vic? Just leave it alone now, Lena. <laughs> hey, Iona, can you hear me? Aren't you going to tell me? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> tell me what you meant! Calm down, down Elena. Elena. Calm down, are you listening to me? Are you listening? Elena? Elena, are you listening? Elena? Elena? No, 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 she can't. So you're right. She's not. I have got something. 
someone else. 